Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Welcome back to the channel where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. We are back with another Talk Back with The Blind Life. I am here with Rachel. Hello. And this is May of 2022. We are also doing a live stream on TikTok at the same time. So if you guys watching this in TikTok, hello, everybody in TikTok, uh, or if you're watching this later, join us on TikTok. We do stuff like this every now and then. I thought this would be a good... Uh, People could kind of get a behind the scenes of recording a video and watching me mess up. <laughs> Without the edits. Yes. <laughs> so uh, this is, as always, we are going to be answering some comments and questions from the previous month's videos. That's what this talk back show is all about. Uh, if you guys have questions um, for me and would like to see them featured on a video like this in the future, ask questions in the comments of my videos. That's where I'm pulling all the questions. Um, happy early Mother's Day to everybody. It is Saturday. Tomorrow is Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to Rachel. Thank you. Uh, soon to be uh, Mother's Day. And happy Mother's Day to everybody out there and on TikTok. Happy Mother's Day, guys. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump into it. I don't think we have too much... Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be kind of a short one. Yeah, yeah. We don't have too much to talk about. And okay, shall we dive in? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, so the first video, I think it was the first one after our last talk back, uh, is the CSUN video where you did kind of a recap of your experience at the CSUN conference. Yes. Um, so uh, the first comment on there was California Unearthed said, I was just in Orange County. I wish I knew about this. I would, lo would have loved to go. Well, it is on my radar for next year. Thank you for the cool info. Yeah, and I wanted to mention, um, so this conference, CSUN, Assistive Technology Conference, arguably the largest one we have in the U.S., it's every year in Anaheim, California, um, somewhere around March, in, in, <clears throat> in March. So check it out. If you're able to go, definitely check it out. I try to go every year. Um, the going to the exhibit hall for these types of conferences is free. If you wanted to go to the conference and take part in the sessions and the classes and all that, you got to pay for that. But if you just want to go and walk around the exhibit hall, 100% free. Uh, so definitely look into it. Okay, um, the next comment from that video was from Dana Belden and um, they said, I just got Spectrum and saw on there, saw that on there now. So cool, I love it. Yeah. I don't know what that was. So there's uh, one of the exhibits I featured, exhibitors I featured was Spectrum, and they were talking about their Spectrum Access app. It's a free app that you can download. I believe it's available for Android and iOS. And it adds audio description to uh, TV shows and movies. And it's really cool, actually. So even if you don't have Spectrum, you can use the app. What you do is, as you're watching a movie or a television show, uh, you choose that in the app, that same show, and then you click play on the app and it will listen to the show that you're watching and it will sync up the audio description. And it will play audio description coming from your phone um, or your tablet or whatever while you're watching the show. So it's pretty cool. That is very cool. Yeah, yeah. What's the, what'd you say the app was called? Spectrum Access. Okay, cool. And it doesn't have everything. I did try to find a show the other day that I was watching and it didn't have it, but you know, you might get lucky. Was it a Korean show? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm watching a great Korean zombie show on, uh, on Netflix right now. It's fantastic. <laughs> Okay, uh, the next comment was from Blind Life Gaming and said, great video. How do I become a member? Thank you very much, Blind Life Gaming. Uh, I like your name. Uh, if you would like to become a member and take part in all the extra member stuff we do, there is information in the description of all the videos. You can also click the join button that is right next, usually right next to the subscribe button either on my channel or all of my videos, <clears throat> excuse me, it should be right there. It's a blue button that says join. And we're talking about YouTube videos. YouTube videos, yes. yes. TikTok, if you guys want to become a member, jump on over to YouTube and uh, click that button as well. Okay, so we're going to hop on to the next video that you did, which was the scam in the video comments, beware, it's not me. <laughs> yeah. And um, they said, Chris Higley said, boo, it sucks this has happened to you, Sam. You have an awesome channel and help so many people. Hope YouTube gets it figured out soon. Hang in there. Yeah, yeah. So if you're not familiar with what that is, that was, um, 
there was this horrible scamming going on in the comments of uh, several of my videos and it coincided with the giveaway. So I'm sure it kind of, they're like, oh, a giveaway, let's scam this person. Uh, but basically replying to people's comments saying that they won the giveaway and they needed to contact their WhatsApp number and it's just a big scam. It, yeah, it asked, asked people for money for shipping and it was an yeah. exorbitant amount of money. Yeah, so I made that video, try to get ahead of it and let people know this is not me. Um, I will never ask you to pay for shipping for a product. I don't think anybody would. I mean, I don't know if any giveaway uh, YouTuber would ask them to pay shipping. So I, I think mean, that's a big red do, flag. they do, they kind of suck, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then especially as much. They were asking like $150 for shipping or something. Yeah. Um, and then there's other little you know, tells that it, it wasn't me replying. Um, I'm never going to announce that you won in a comment. I will announce in a video or I'll send you a direct message or something like that. I don't know. But um, most often it's, I will announce it in a video. So yeah, watch that video to learn more about that. Crazy for Dots is on your uh, TikTok live and said they enjoy your positivity. Ah, thank you. Hello, TikTok. <laughs> we're recording a video. If you're late coming in, we're recording a video for YouTube. It's one of our talkback videos, so you'll be able to watch this over on YouTube, probably tomorrow. Okay, the next video was uh, the Blind Life live stream giveaway, which you had done uh, Easter weekend with your sister, Tawny. Yeah, yeah, so that's where we gave away the uh, performance block backpack that was made for the visually impaired community. And that was a lot of fun. Huge thank you to everybody who entered that contest. I wish I could have given away more. I just had the one to give away. Uh, and congratulations to the lucky winner. Okay, and then um, Live Simmer said, I wonder if that Blind Life iPhone case would fit the regular iPhone 13. Just curious, awesome live as always. Yeah, so in that video we talked about, um, a, an, I had an iPhone case that had the logo, Blind Life logo. And that one would not, but the, uh, I sell these on, on Spring. Uh, now it's called Spring, it used to be called Teespring. And they come in different sizes. They've got iPhones, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever. And the Pros and the Regulars, they have lots of different options. They also have, I also sell Samsung cases. Um, so, uh, definitely check those out. Information linked in the description of all my videos or go to the website theblindlife.net and you can check out all the Blind Life low vision slash blind merchandise, including today I'm rocking the 80s themed um, Sweep the Cane No Mercy. <laughs> uh, if you remember from Karate Kid, Sweep the Leg Johnny. Well, we say Sweep the Cane No Mercy. Okay, um, Daryl Heiler said, I just wanted to say hello, I'm new to the blind life. Hello, Daryl. Yeah. I wonder if that means they're new to your channel or new to being blind. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> question. It could be either. Either way, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Um, Deborah Kwan asked, is there a low vision Fitbit? So, uh, yes and no. Uh, there isn't a, a Fitbit or any type of that I know of performance tracker kind of exercise tracking wearable thing that is made specific, excuse me, specifically <laughs> for the visually impaired community. Um, but the actual Fitbit, the old school Fitbit that you use the app with, the app is very accessible. It works really well with voiceover and talkback. Um, so, you know, no, but also yes. You know, if you got the old school one and you can still track and keep all that information keep track of all that information through the app. Okay, um, the next video was the Sony video. And the first comment is Ghost. It said, that is really cool. I hope they can add the feature where it gives you somewhat of an idea of what you are taking a picture of, like some smartphones can, and have the ability to name the picture like family photo or dad's birthday cake. Yeah, I don't know if it will ever get that detailed. I mean, maybe it will, but... Um, <clears throat> Uh, that would be really cool. I, I just want, like my base of what I would like is to be able to know all the information that is currently being displayed on the screen. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Yeah. Do you want to give a quick recap of what that video was about? Yes. Yeah, so the camera, the Sony AM Alpha 7 Mark IV or A7 IV, which is the camera we are recording on right now, 
It's their most recent camera released in the Sony or the Alpha series of cameras. It's a pro, prosumer, professional consumer um, series of cameras. And this is the first camera that I know of, and I've, I've done some research, that offers a screen reader built in. Uh, and it's really, really cool. It's really exciting that they're finally doing this. Unfortunately, it's not complete. Um, it's not 100% working. And, but I've talked with Sony, the, their accessibility team, and they are, it's, they're actively working on it. They basically just needed to get it into a camera and get it out there, even though it wasn't fully fleshed out, you could say. Um, so it's exciting, nonetheless having a screen reader built into a camera because these cameras are they've got a lot of t uh, accessibility built in um, just by default just by the way that you use them tactile things and all that but they've never had any type of screen reader for the blind and so it's really exciting yeah sam literally when so he didn't know that when he he, he saved up for quite a while this phone was his his <laughs> on camera. his wish i mean sorry this camera was on yeah. his wish list he saved up for quite a while then you couldn't find it anywhere right yeah, it, it was, was out of stock out. yeah so you know it, he finally got it and when he was saving up for it and everything he didn't even know about the accessibility no he just knew it's it was just, a good camera awesome it was camera. and he was you know ready to upgrade and when he um started playing around with it and found that like literally he almost cried <laughs> I did. you did didn't you i, I did mean, i got was, teary i'm like this is amazing it was a really big deal to him and and then and then he was a little disappointed when he realized oh it's not working on every screen but just the fact that they've started it yeah. and and they're heading in that direction was a huge deal to you yeah i actually because i i yelled down to you and yeah. you were like, you need to make a TikTok right now. And so I got out the phone and I started to make it. And that's when I realized that it wasn't reading everything. Some things it would read, some things it wouldn't. So I, I just didn't make that TikTok at the time because I wanted to make sure it wasn't something that I was doing wrong. Yeah. Um, so, but it was very exciting. And, uh, and, then, and then it was cool. Well, it, so Sam called about it to see if it was like his particular phone wasn't working completely Camera. or why do I keep that? I think because I'm staring at the, the tick we're recording the TikTok on Sam's phone so I'm looking at it right now but I don't know if it was because um you you were wondering if there was something wrong or if that was just the way it was yeah and, and they were really helpful on I mean mm -hmm. they called you back and stuff right like they yeah, yeah, they yeah. um wanted to test it themselves and kind of get an idea and stuff but then you lucked out that when you got to see Sun Sony was there, so mm -hmm. then you got to make contact with them there and get like the full scoop on everything. And they're definitely working on it and excited about it. And we're excited to get your feedback on it and stuff too. Yeah. So yeah, and I'm I'm gonna be doing more stuff for Sony in the future regarding this camera and accessibility and some of their other products and accessibility because um, they've really they've got a lot of of really cool stuff. I mean, I showed a real a, a clip during CSUN of a guy playing a video game, <clears throat> but it was just a clip in the background while the, the main guy was talking about their accessibility stuff. And I didn't really go into detail, but he was playing a video game where he was able, it was a first person shooter, and he was able to change the colors to where all the enemies were a different color. So they stood out in the background, um, which was awesome. Uh, that's the main reason I can't play first person shooters. I used to love playing Call of Duty, but now my vision's gotten to the point where everybody just blends in. It's just a big, I, I can't distinguish the details anymore. And um, so I'm excited to try that too. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, on TikTok, Blind Man Bob said, hey man, good to see you. Hey, Blind Man Bob. I used to be Blind Man Sam on, on Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... And Daniel Lesachenko said, can you drop some of the videos about the screen reader being updated in the future? I'm really curious to follow it. Yes, so that's, that's, that's what um, we're definitely gonna do. I, as, as soon as they add some improvements and update it, you better believe it, I'll be reporting that and letting <laughs> you guys know, because I'm excited about this it. Is, this is probably one, this is probably the most excited about uh, some new accessibility that I've seen Sam in a while. Yeah, because for 10 years now, I've been using these cameras and struggling and... And can't fully use them, really. Like, no. you, you can't use all the all of the bells and whistles because you can't yeah. effectively access them. Yeah, and I know so many people that they this is what they want to do, and they can't because they can't just use the simple tools 
to, to accomplish that. And so yeah. it's yeah. nice to see it going that way. Um, the Blind Kitchen Lady just signed on on hey. TikTok. Blind said, Kitchen Lady. Hugs to both of you. <laughs> Okay, um, we only have one more video left to talk about, and that was the Bluetooth projector review. Yes. And there were a couple of different comments that were similar, but I just chose one of them that said that there's quite a bit of confusion about this projector. And they said the 6500 lumens version doesn't actually have wireless capability, and many people get confused and end up buying the wrong version. Oh. And there was another comment, I should have copied it and I didn't, saying something similar that it's unclear when you're buying the different versions what exactly is included in the different versions and stuff so just really read all the details and i mean the good thing is if you're buying it on amazon you can return it easily like yeah if you get some if you get it home and it's not what you want it's disappointing but you're not out you're not out money or yeah. anything so it's frustrating yeah but you're, you at least didn't lose the money I didn't realize that because I never, I just saw that that was an option, uh, the different lumens, but I never actually clicked on one to... Um, what lumen did, what did you have? I've got the 9000, which is oh, the, the okay. highest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the 6500 was probably considerably less expensive and yeah. especially if it didn't have all of the capabilities that, that you didn't know. Yeah. So this, this projector, if you didn't see the video, it has... Um, it can connect to your, your smart device via Wi-Fi, or it can connect, but it can also Bluetooth the audio to a Bluetooth speaker, Bluetooth headset. That was really something interesting to me because we've had projector for years and years, yeah. and we have, we have a pretty tiny little backyard, but we have a large front yard. So we would do uh, movies on the front yard, uh, the front lawn, uh, during the summertime and all the neighborhood kids would come over and put out their blankets and the parents and stuff It was a lot of fun But we always had you had to have a table with the projector and the laptop plugged up to it and then cables going up to the speakers over by the um, the screen and you know, yeah, people were always tripping over the the extension cords or, yeah. or whatever and yeah, I'm excited to try it out. We haven't tried it out outside yet. Um, mm -hmm. The weather, you know, we've only had a few warm days, but now we're heading into that season. I'm excited to try it out because I'm thinking that we'll only need one cord. A power cord. Yeah, a power cord to the projector because we can connect the other things directly to the projector and just use the projector's power. Yeah. Like if you want to do your phone or whatever. Yeah, and, and if you watch the video, um, it the connection from the phone wirelessly to the projector it did kind of go in and out every now and then it stumbled a little bit stuttered uh, and then at one point i did lose connection altogether and had to like reconnect so but i've made videos before about using an adapter to connect a phone to um via hdmi to a tv so you can use your phone as a, a diy cctv so I've got those adapters. So I think I'll probably just use an adapter, um, but, but still. But use the Bluetooth for the, for the speakers, which is, would be huge. Is what I'm very excited about, yeah. yes. I didn't have any problems with the Bluetooth other than not connecting to all the speakers that we have. It, it only connected to the one for some reason. So. Yeah, and that, that was it. That was all of the, we didn't have a, a, very many comments this time to. Yeah. To discuss. Well, we have two videos that came out today. I dropped yeah. two videos this morning because um, they were both just small little videos. They weren't like big 20 minute videos or anything. So I figured I'd, I'd do two. They were just little informational things about tips um, and tricks. Tips and tricks. Yeah. So uh, there aren't too many comments on there. The other thing is the last talk back video. There were a ton of comments because that was the one that you had to leave a comment to enter into the comp enter in into the giveaway. Um, so I didn't really pull any of those comments because it was a lot of just talking about, you know, yeah, I'd love to win the backpack. Um, but a ton of comments there and I really appreciate that. So once again, if you guys have a comment, as always, leave me a, uh, uh, or if you have a question, leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to help out. We will do our best. Maybe you'll find yourself featured on a talk back in the future. Um, or you can always send me an email, sam at theblindlife.net. Um, and I will do my best to answer that. I'm not the quickest replying to emails, but I always do. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then of course you can check out the website, theblindlife.net. Lots of information there, information about the merchandise once again, <clears throat> and, um, all of that. 
Yeah, and uh, here in just a little bit, you're going to be doing your members only live stream, right? Yeah, or I've got not a not live stream. Uh, Zoom, Zoom call. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've got a members only Zoom call today, a uh, little, little bit later today. So if you would like to join those in the future, uh, you can become a member of the Blind Life YouTube channel. That information, once again, is in the description of the videos or click that join button or you can go to the membership tab on my YouTube channel. Um, membership is super cheap. It's either 99 cents a month or $4.99 a month, whichever you choose. Uh, I try to make it, I pick the, the lowest amounts that they had available because I wanted, I'm not trying to make money on this. I'm trying to give people more engagement and that sort of thing and, and give them a way that they can help out the channel, help you know, give something back to the channel. So check okay. that out. Um, Blind Man Bob does have a question on TikTok. Sure, we'll um, answer some TikTok He said, questions. what is a good book scanner you would recommend? He said, all the new tech can be overwhelming. So, um, well, there's, the technology is called OCR, Optical Character Recognition. And it just basically scans text. Um, there, and there's a ton of devices out there that can do that. Now, if you're wanting to scan a novel, and sit back and listen to a novel read out loud to you. Um, yes, technically you can do that. I don't recommend it because it's a lot of work and then it's, you know, you can basically get the same thing through an audio book or um, one of these devices reading out loud in ebook, you know, it's, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, and, I mean, and, a Kindle can read something out loud. Yeah, and there's free options. You don't have to pay for audiobooks. There's tons of free options. I've done videos about free audiobook options. Um, but <clears throat> if you are looking for a device, the best OCR in the game, in my opinion, is still OrCam. I think OrCam has the best optical character recognition. It's fast, it's accurate, it's easy to use. The, the handheld one is much easier to use than the one that's on the glasses. Um, and it's, it's offline reading, so your information isn't going to the internet somewhere to be done with who knows what. Um, but then there's also apps on your phone. Seeing AI is a great app on Apple devices. Um, Audible Vision is a brand new one for Android that has the fastest OCR I've ever seen. You know, you line up that text and you tap the screen and instantly it starts reading to you. There's no processing time at all. It's pretty incredible. Um, and then there's a couple others. KNFB Reader is a great one, but it's an expensive app. He said, I'm a, I'm a historian, so I do a lot of research. So audiobooks are probably not going to be yeah. available. Although if it's a, yeah, I, mean, I guess it depends on what kind of books you're researching with. If it's available as an ebook, an e-reader, like a, you know, a Kindle or something could probably read it for you. Yeah, it would. But if it's not available as an ebook, then yeah, you probably need to use one of the OCR readers. Yeah, and if you're gonna be using it for something like that, um, you could get away with using an app on a phone. Um, I even did a video about this thing called a scan, um, scan, what's it called? Scan something or other where it's a little, I've, I've got one around here somewhere, it's, it's a little uh, plastic thing that will hold the paper and then hold your phone at the same angle and distance and you can just tap the screen and it will take a picture. That's what I was gonna say, having something, a tripod type situation or something that, Yeah. so you're not continually trying to get the right angle. Cause you know, sometimes if your phone is angled to what you're reading, and it morphs it, the OCR may not work yeah. very well and yeah. stuff like that. So you, you could get away with that kind of stuff, but I, I would ultimately, I would say that, for just ease of use and, and efficiency, OrCam would be the best bet. I mean, it's expensive, so you, but like I said, if this is a, for a job or something like that, that kind of justifies the expense. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna try and start doing a giveaway during uh, for every TalkBack video. And today we are giving away this right here. Can this... you hold it a little closer? It's hard to see. Yeah. This is a an iPhone. 12 case and I will double check. I'm pretty sure it's an iPhone 12 and it's a standard case. It's not the pro size um, And I'll show TikTok. No, nope, you're, you're too far. You were, you I don't were. know where. Okay. Yeah. Okay um, So this was donated by a viewer. Huge thank you to them for doing that But this is a hard case. It is white and on the back It has the I can see but I can't hashtag it's complicated logo with the Blind Life Skull and Cross Canes logo. So, uh, white with some black 
around the edge of like the camera cutout because there's actually a black insert. So you could just run the black soft insert or you could put the hard case on on top of it and then have a little bit more protection. Really nice case. This is uh, one of the cases that's available through Teespring or Spring just now. Um, this was, like I said, they have cases for all different size iPhones and Samsung phones. Um, so huge thank you to him for donating this. Yeah, I think, I think, I think what happened is he ordered a phone case and they sent him maybe the wrong one or something like, it, I think it was the wrong size or something. And so they just replaced it for him and he didn't have to return that one. So he just, um, you need to move to your left some. There you go. Even, <laughs> even further with the phone. There you go. Oh, okay. There it is. Okay. Um, but so he, he donated to Sam and said, maybe you can give it as a giveaway or something. So that was cool. So yeah, Sam has an extra giveaway. So thank you. Um, so in order to win this, as always, leave a comment on this video, this talk back video on YouTube, on YouTube. Let me know if you would like to receive this. Of course, you have to have an iPhone 12. I mean, you don't have to, but <laughs> why would you want it if you didn't have an iPhone 12? Uh, <laughs> like, I'm going to sell that. Um, and we will send this. And once again, just like before, doesn't matter where you live, I'll send this to you uh, no matter where. And uh, hopefully you can use it. So just leave me a comment. And this goes for the TikTok people here also. Jump on over to the YouTube when this video goes live, um, maybe tomorrow, and leave a comment as well if you would like to receive this case. All right. All right. Anything else or is that it? Um, I think that's it for YouTube. Can we go and have some lunch? <laughs> well, <laughs> Crazy For Thought said, I work with many prison braille groups and would love to have you speak to them for motivation. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, send, send them a, a DM via TikTok. Or an email. Or an email. What's your Honestly, email? Honestly, email is probably the best. Uh, email is sam at theblindlife.net. N-E-T, net. Alrighty. But that is it, guys. Well, thank you very much for joining us for another Talk Back with the Blind Life video podcast <laughs> for May 2022. Uh, if you have comments and everything down below, we'll do our best to help out. If you, if you like the video, be sure to hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed. Liking, leaving comments, all of that engagement definitely helps out the channel. It shows the, the great algorithm gods in the sky that, that we are worthy of their attention and they will share our content to everyone. So thank you very much. But that's it. All right. Thanks. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, buddy.